Hi and welcome to Select 10. Post-apocalyptic TV series can help us escape the tension of our everyday lives. Despite its dark subjects, the category is interesting, and there are numerous post-apocalyptic shows available, from aliens to environmental disasters to zombies, because the world can end in so many ways. So if you're looking for a post-apocalyptic series to watch, we've prepared a list of the top 10 of them for you to binge watch. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Revolution. It is a post-apocalyptic science fiction series, directed by Eric Kripke. The series takes place in a post-apocalyptic near future in the year 2027, when 15 years earlier, in the year 2012, an event known as the blackout left all electricity on Earth permanently unusable, affecting everything from computers and electronics to vehicle and aircraft engines. The main story starts years after the blackout and follows the Matheson family and a group of revolutionaries as they try to adapt to this new world without power, government, or public order, while battling local militias and their generals, who dominate several areas in the current world. Overall, the plot is completely unique and it captures your attention from the start. Sadly, the show was cancelled after two seasons, but to wrap up the story, a four-part digital comic book was released. And the show has a 6.6 .6 rating on IMDb and a 67% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. Station Eleven. Based on the 2014 novel of the same name, it is a post-apocalyptic dystopian fiction miniseries created by Patrick Somerville. The series is set 20 years after a virus disaster caused mankind to collapse and follows the journey of a group of survivors who make their living as traveling artists. But their lives get upside down when they come across a violent cult led by a man whose past is unknowingly related to a member of the group. The main plot centers on an actress named Kirsten, who appears in two timelines, as a little kid during the initial stages of a pandemic that kills most people, and as a grown-up touring the states with a Shakespeare company. Overall, it offers a new perspective on post-apocalyptic stories, and since we are currently dealing with a pandemic, we will be able to relate to this show more. The show has a 7.6 rating on IMDb and a 73% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. Into the Night. It is a Belgian apocalyptic sci-fi drama inspired by the 2015 Polish science fiction novel, The Old Axolotl. The show centers on a group of passengers who are on an aircraft from Brussels when it is hijacked. The hijacker, Terenzio, is an Italian NATO veteran who makes his way into the passenger plane and orders an immediate takeoff. Later, this small group of people in the plane become survivors of a horrific global event triggered by exposure to sunlight, which kills everything in its path. In an effort to avoid this apocalypse, which destroys all living things throughout the day, the plane heads west. Now, the crew commanded by pilot Matthew and traveler Sylvie must now find a way to keep the sunlight behind the aircraft. This series is a hidden gem, and it is the type of show that keeps you on the edge of your seat from the start, with its mystery and gripping plot. And the show has a 7.1 rating on IMDb and a 70% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. Dominion. It is an apocalyptic fantasy series created by Vaughn Wilmot. The series is set in the year 25 AE, when God vanishes, and the Archangel Gabriel and his army of inferior angels wage war on mankind, thinking them to be the reason for God's absence. The majority of higher angels choose to remain impartial, but Gabriel has recruited the dogs of heaven and the lower angels to battle alongside him. This 25-year-long conflict has resulted in newly fortified communities that protect survivors of the war, and the biggest city is Vega, which was originally known as Las Vegas. In the midst of all of this, Michael, the sole angel to rebel against his kind and support humans during the extermination war, keeps watch over Alex, a soldier assisting in protecting Vega's nobility. As a result of his decision to support humanity against Gabriel, the Archangel Michael is currently residing among the people in the walled city of Vegas until a promised rescuer arrives to save humanity. Overall, the series is surprisingly interesting, and the plot nicely blends a post-apocalyptic setting with supernatural fantasy elements. And the show has a 6.7 rating on IMDb and an 85% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. Sweet Home. It is a South Korean apocalyptic horror series based on the neighbor webtoon of the same name. The plot revolves around Hyun, a lonely teenager who lost his entire family in a tragic accident and is forced to leave his house and settle into an apartment. 
However, his peaceful life is suddenly disrupted by bizarre events that begin to occur in his flat and throughout Korea, where humans are turning into bloodthirsty creatures. Realizing that monsters are hiding everywhere outside, the residents of the flat are stuck within the building, while Hyun and the other residents are now forced to defend themselves inside the building in the hopes of living as long as they can. Overall, all things considered, it's a great post-apocalyptic horror show that keeps you on the edge of your seat. And the show has a 7.3 rating on IMDb and an 84% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. El Barco. It is a Spanish post-apocalyptic mystery series created by Alex Pina and Ivan Escobar. The series begins after a worldwide calamity caused by a horrible accident during the deployment of a particle accelerator in Geneva, Switzerland, isolates the crew and passengers of the Bark school ship, Estrella Polar, in a post-apocalyptic world where much of the planet's surface is now underwater. The ship becomes their home in this lonely world since they are aware of their isolation and the fact that they only have each other. Apart from the isolation, they realize that they are not alone and must confront the others. I'm sure nearly none of you have heard of this show, but believe me when I say it's worth watching, highly entertaining, and a must-see on this list. For your information, this show was created by Alex Pina, who also created the Netflix series Money Heist. And the show has a 7.2 rating on IMDb. Number 4. Colony. It is a post-apocalyptic sci-fi series created by Carlton Cuse and Ryan J. Condal. The series takes place in a dystopian near future in which Los Angeles has been attacked and overrun by alien forces, triggering a split among the city's population. While some have cooperated with the occupation, others are fighting and experiencing the consequences of their actions. The main story revolves around Will Bowman, a former FBI agent, and his wife, Katie, who must consider their personal commitments when voicing their opinion because they were separated from their son Bram during the attack. On the other hand, Proxy Snyder, a crafty and influential leader inside the occupied government, gives Will the chance to have Bram back if he cooperates with the invading force. As a result, Will and Katie are forced to make the most difficult decision of their lives, risking their own lives and their relationship to defend their family. This is most likely the most underrated show on this list, and it is not the typical alien invasion show. And the show has a 7.3 rating on IMDb and a 78% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. The Last Man on Earth. It is a post-apocalyptic comedy series created by Will Forte. The series begins over a year after a fatal epidemic wipes out the world's population and follows the journey of Phil Miller, who appears to be the lone human survivor. Phil travels the United States, Canada, and Mexico in his motor home, trying to hold on to faith that there is at least one other living survivor, while he attempts to make the most of situations until his course finally meets with that hoped-for other survivor, and it all becomes more pleasant that the person happens to be a female. However, as more survivors appear, disputes occur, and Phil finds it difficult to live with others. Overall, the show has a unique storyline and a humorous take on the end of the world. Imagine being the only living human on the earth, it's insane, isn't it? And the show has a 7.3 rating on IMDb and an 81% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. The Last Ship. It is a post-apocalyptic action drama, loosely based on the 1988 novel of the same name by William Brinkley. The series begins following the annihilation of over 80% of the world's population by a global viral epidemic, and the 218-person team of an uninfected U.S. Navy ship must strive to find a solution and save mankind. The major plot revolves around the USS Nathan James, which is on its way to the Arctic, and its captain, Tom Chandler, who discovers that the ship will be in the best possible position, a situation his crew must take advantage of to save humankind from extermination. When a virus has killed out more than half the population since the ship set sail, and against orders from the US government to retreat, Chandler considers that developing a vaccine at sea is the safest option. You know, the end of the world isn't just about zombies, and in the last ship, the enemy is actually a global pandemic. And the show has a 7.4 rating on IMDb and an 83% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 1. Sweet Tooth. It is a post-apocalyptic fantasy drama developed by Jim Mickle. The series is set 10 years ago, during the Great Collapse, when the world's human race was almost wiped out by a global epidemic of a disease known as the sick, which also caused the inexplicable birth of hybrid children who are born half-human 
half animal. Many people fear and hunt the hybrids because they are unsure of whether they are the virus's cause or one of its effects. The main storyline focuses on Gus, a half-deer hybrid who stays in the forest with his father, who passes away when Gus is nine years old. However, a year after his father's passing, Gus makes the decision to leave his isolated forest home. Along the way, he unexpectedly encounters Jeopard, a roaming loner, and together they go on an epic adventure over what's left of America in quest of the truth about home and the origins of Gus. However, their adventure is filled with unanticipated friends and enemies. This show is simply great, and it is my personal favorite on this list. The series has a 7.8 rating on IMDb and an 87% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.